Uh, hello, and welcome to Geology 12 Individualized. I am Mr. Kuchma, the new teacher for it. Um, I'm quite excited to be teaching this course. Um, when I went to UBCO, um, the university that I graduated from, my undergrad was a major in biology and a minor in earth and environmental sciences, which is a lot of geology, environmental studies, things like that. So I'm pretty pumped to be able to be teaching this course. Um, it's definitely something that is passion or that is a passion for me. I really, really am in awe of God's creation. And I find that I am closest to him when I'm outside enjoying the world that he created for us. And it's definitely one of my favorite um, activities just to go out and experience the world, um, to see the things that are out there. And I really hope that um, you can sort of capture that and enjoy uh, this course. So I created a Moodle um, shell for this course. So if you're wondering how to get there, um, if you go to our online school.ca website, um, through Heritage, you can go to log in and then you can go to Moodle courses. And when you click on Moodle courses, it'll take you into Moodle. I'm going to teach a bunch of different courses, um, but I put Geology 12 in here. So that's how you jump into the course. And then from here, this is what you're going to see. I'm going to have this course intro video. I'm recording it right now, but it'll be at the top of the page here. And there's a bunch of course information. So one of the things is I want you to be able to contact me and be able to be in communication with me. So you can do that through email. And here's my email address. You can also meet with me on Zoom. Um, you do have one required meeting with me at the beginning of the course um, and another one halfway, which we'll talk about that in a bit. So my Zoom information is my same email, acoochmanonlineschool.ca. And you have to download Zoom and then um, add me as a contact. So oftentimes students will do this through their parents' account because um, most parents already have a Zoom account made. If you have a Zoom account made, that's awesome. You can simply add me as a contact at acoochmetonlineschool.ca. I have weekly office hours um, where students, you can pop in and chat with me. They are listed here. Right now, these are my um, hours for the, for the year. Um, hopefully I can, I can stick to them. So Mondays are in the morning. Tuesdays and Fridays are kind of late afternoon, and then Thursday, early afternoon. And it's all first come, first serve. So if you're wanting to chat with me, um, shoot me a message in Zoom to let me know that you're there. Um, please don't email me because I'm not going to be checking my emails while I'm Zooming. I'm only going to be on Zoom. So that is the best way to reach me. And then um, I'll put you in line and I'll call you as soon as I'm free. So I did make a little page of policies and procedures for this course so that you can take a look at them. Um, if you go here, you can take a look at ordering the workbook. You need to order this book called Science, Second Edition, Earth Science. Um, when you're submitting your work, there's some information here. Um, there's going to be a grade book, um, actually, and a course pacing guide that I created for the course. Um, course weighting, it shows you how everything's graded and you can go through the rest of it. I'm not going to go through the whole book. You can you can do some reading on your own. So give that a read through. And then I want to meet with each of you individually, um, preferably like your whole team. So if you're going to be doing this course all by yourself, that's awesome. But maybe you might have like an EA or you might have parents or even like a sibling in some cases working with you throughout the course. I like to get everyone on board at the same time so I can explain the course and all that kind of stuff. So this is the first thing that I want you to do is come and meet with me. And I will mark your introductory Skype meeting as complete. When you do that, um, it counts as 2% progress for your course. Um, so I have another page. Um, one of the things that you're going to want in this course um, is preferably a printer and a scanner, potentially, or just um, the ability to convert Google Docs into PDFs uh, depends on what kind of a learner you are and what um, programs you have. But you can use Microsoft Word, um, you can use Google Docs, you can use um, just printing and scanning. 
um, whichever is going to be the most beneficial. You can even just have a notepad that you, you know, dedicate to Geology 12 that you put all your work in. Okay, so if you do need help with submitting PDFs, though, I do have a little um, section here. I'd love for you to read it um, and watch these two videos on how to use Cam Scanner and how to compress a PDF, because these are two things that nearly every student needs to figure out um, in their online courses. So, um, purchasing the curriculum, um, there is an online textbook and it costs $27.57. Um, if you click here, it's going to open. I already have it open, but I'll close this. Um, so this is where you can buy it and you can add it to the cart. I think that I, yeah, it includes a one year bookshelf online. So downloaded copy. Okay, yeah. So you can download the whole textbook onto your computer if you wish. It's a big file and then you can have it forever, um, but you can access it online. It seems like for one year, um, which hopefully I think you can finish this course in one year. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, once you've purchased it, um, the textbook is online, so you can access it here. And so this is where they keep it. It's called Bookshelf. And you can see mine expires in 45 days. So right now I, I just bought it for the school year, 20 days ago. Um, and I can go to continue reading, which is nice. And then you can take a look at all of the content. I'm just going to move my head here for a second. Uh, up here. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you can see that there are six units in this book. You actually don't need to complete all six units. You need to complete unit one, unit two, unit three, and unit five. The meteorology and astronomy, I believe, are part of Earth Sciences 11, not Geology 12. So those are two chapters you don't need to complete. Just one, two, three, and five. Um, so when you go through the book, um, there's going to be chapter headings. So you can see geology has six chapters. Um, Dynamic Earth has three chapters. Water and System has two chapters. And the Environment has two chapters. So these are the chapters that you're required to go through. And within each chapter, there are review questions. So I'm just going to jump into, let's do water and water systems, because that's kind of fun. And you can see. Um, within the chapter one, there are eight subunits. So properties of water is, you know, 1.1. Glaciers is 1.2. Groundwater is 1.3. So if you start going through the chapter, you're going to be reading the book, learning about water, um, you know, properties of water. And you'll see that there are um, things like try this. Fill a plastic bottle with water, tightly secure, square, fine gauze over the mouth bottle with rubber band, turn the bottle upside down, explain our observations. So there's things that you can do as you go throughout the chapter that are kind of cool. They also have um, little Christian content connections where they have, you know, verses and different things, which is kind of cool as well. Um, and then there are different sections of the, of the chapter that have labs. Okay, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, there's some more try, try this out. Um, and then another try this. I want to get to the end and get to the review questions. Here we go. So once you get to the very end, um, there are always going to be review questions. And these are the questions that I want you to answer um, and complete to show that you have read the chapter and you've completed it. Okay. So this is an important part. Each subunit, so this is uh, this is chapter or unit three, chapter 1.1. And then if I go to the next one, number two, so this is 1.2, this is glaciers. And um, if we skip through, I'm just going to skip to a little bit far. Oh, there we go. There's review questions right here as well. So there's another section that I need you to complete. Now, I'm going to scroll down because when you are getting started in the course, um, and working on this, I'm going to have, I've got like a review question template that you can use to show all of your work for the review questions. Um, so this one's unit one for geology. Um, if I just scroll down a little really quickly to unit three on water systems, you can see there's water, oceans, and there's a hand in box for each one of these. So we're just looking at 1.1. I want to show you what this looks like. So if I download this Word document, 
um, is going to go like this. You can click Enable Editing, and then you can put your name in here. So, Mr. Kuchma, debate today is October 6th. Um, unit, this is unit three, water, water systems. We are doing chapter one, which is um, just called water. It's just called water. Water, so that we can go, this is going to be section 1.1, section 1.2, section 1.3, and so on and forth. So, forth. so I think that there are papers um, in this one, there were seven, um, seven subsections. Um, let's go back. 1.5. In the book, the review question describe the two types of glaciers. So you can take. Oops, sorry. Um, but you can take describe the two types of glaciers. Um, and so for one point one, describe the two types of glaciers, and then you could write your answer. So what I would say. Um, this is question one, and then so here's my answer for two glaciers are. There you go. So you have to write your answer there. Um, I have a little note here that um, I don't want you to be plagiarizing any copying of these things. So don't go to Wikipedia, copy it. Don't go to the workbook or sorry, the textbook and just copy and paste it. Um, put this into your own words and answer it in a full sentence uh, to explain your understanding of glaciers. And then you can simply just continue moving on uh, to the next section. I think actually this question was from, you guys are probably watching and understanding than I am. So I think this is actually from uh, 1.2 because I went past 1.1. So you have different questions for there. But this is a nice and easy way that you can put all of your review questions in one place. So if you want to keep everything nice and tidy, you can just have one document for 1.1, 1, .1, one document for 1.2, one document for 1.3, and so on and so forth. So each document will be nice. You can just put everything together, and then you can submit it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to submit things. If I hit Save As, um, I'm just going to browse. I'm going to save it onto my desktop, into the new folder, Review Questions. Let's call it Unit 3, Chapter 1, Review Questions. Okay. Saved it. There we go. I'm going to close this document because now I'm done. Let's pretend like I'm done. And then you're able to go in and submit your work into the Chapter 1 uh, Water section. Now, what I have to do is I actually have to switch my role to a student because as a teacher, I can't submit work um, to myself. So let's go in to the hand in box, like pretend like I'm a student like you. So when you go into the hand in box, you can hit add submission. And then it's going to give you this drag and drop section as well as this button that says add. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, if I go to my desktop into my new folder, you will see Unit 3, Chapter 1, Review Questions, and I can simply drag and drop that into the hand-in box. Done. Yes. Um, that is one way of doing it. Um, I'm going to delete that. You can also hit Add File, and you can hit Choose File, and then I can go to my new folder and search it that way, hit Open, upload this file. So that's the other way of doing it. And then once you have uploaded your work, you hit Save Changes. Boom, you've submitted, submitted it to me. Now I know that you've completed it. Awesome, way to go, thank you. I will be reviewing them and giving you a mark. So let's go back to the course page. All right, so that's how you order the book. That's how you get started in the review questions. Um, but at the very start of the course, 
Um, I have an activation assignment, um, which is important because that's how you get funding. So in order to get um, started in the course, you actually have the choice of creating a little essay or a PowerPoint slide as an introduction to Geology 12. So you're going to make a little thing that has three topics, um, an introduction, a Christian connection, and then um, some sort of connection as well to where you live. So you can talk about what is geology, um, what are you excited about in this course, et cetera. Um, a Christian connection, you know, talking about how, you know, studying geology bring honor to our creator, you know, to God. And, you know, you can take a look at who are some real life examples of Christian scientists who honor God in the field of geology. And yeah, there's, there's probably some good examples in the textbook that you can take a look at for that. And then I'd really like for you to do um, some study on geological features near to where you live. And um, on that note, at the very end, I said that you must include some photos, diagrams in your write-up. So if you choose a write-up or a PowerPoint, and I'd really like for one of them to be taken by you or your family. So for instance, I live in Kelowna and close by is Mount Boucherie, which is a dormant volcano. Now, if I go into my Google Drive, I'm gonna show you some pictures from a trip that I went on with some of my students last year. So we went and hiked Mount Boucherie and Mount Boucherie is super cool. Let's see, I'm gonna take a look at the hike view. So you get this gorgeous view from the very top and you can see all of these wineries down here are very, very productive because this is a, this was a dormant volcano. Sorry, it was a volcano that's dormant now. So they are actually really great at providing nutrients into the soil that are very good for making um, uh, wine and I guess growing grapes. And this winery right here is actually called, I think like volcanic rock winery, which is kind of cool. Um, as well as you go up uh, Mount Boucherie, there are cactus. It is one of the only places in Canada that you will find cactus, the Okanagan Valley. Um, and so on this, it's actually barren enough and it's got the right, um, it's got the right climate for you to be able to grow it. Um, I think I'll show you just a quick picture of some of the group hiking. So this is like, it's very rocky. It's really nice. Um, it's a really great hike. So um, that is, those are pictures that I had. So if you can take one of, you know, some geological features close to you, that'd be really cool. And that's how you get started in the course. Now, in addition to the four units you have to complete, um, them being, let me go back to the contents, unit one, two, three, and five. Um, so in addition to these units that you have to complete, um, I also have four activities that I want you to do, okay? Activity one is to go on a field trip, which is super fun. I'm super excited about that. Um, activity two is a formal lab, which I'll talk about. Activity three is your choice. So you get to either do another field trip or another formal lab. And then activity four is learning about scientific journals and how that relates to um, science and how you can actually make APA citations, which is uh, an important thing to know in the sciences. At the very end, there's the final exam. So let me go back um, up to the activities. So activity one, there's a field trip. I have some instructions in there. Essentially, I want you to go out and see the world. Um, research geological features in your area. Go check them out. Do a vlog or do a write-up. Um, you have the option. I would really like for you to do a vlog. Vlog is like a video blog. Um, and let me know um, some sort of cool feature that's near you. In the formal lab, there's lots of different labs and activities in the um, in the section. So in you know unit one, two dynamic earth and in unit one geology. So you have to choose one of the labs in um, the textbook, and you have to complete the lab and do a write up for it. And I have instructions and a template here. We can talk about it if you wish as well. But one of the things is you do need to be able to follow the scientific. Um, scientific process and be able to actually complete something 
I want you to have a hypothesis, this hypothesis at the start, letting me know what you think is going to happen. Um, you have to do something, um, make some observations, have a conclusion, and um, go through that. You can have help with that. So, um, yeah, just let me know if you um, are interested in any help with this section. But the formal lab is really cool. And in other courses that I teach, I teach Life Sciences 11 as well. There's a formal lab where you have to um, grow bacteria and see how it grows. And you also have to go and do a biodiversity plot. At the halfway point in the course, I also want to have another Zoom session. And I want you to have a little presentation with me. So the topic is that um, it's sort of split. I want you to let me know what you've learned in the first part of the course. Um, you'll have gone through a lot of cool chapters on, you know, the earth and, you know, minerals, rocks and soil and weather and, you know, all these different compositions of the earth. And then you can also um, dive deep into something as well. So for the first half of the presentation, you can discuss what you've learned. And in the other half, you get to specifically choose one topic that was really interesting to you and you can dive deep into it, researching it extensive, extensively. And you get to teach me about it because I'm not going to know that much about it. Um, you're only going to have like five to 15 minutes to do it. I don't need to go crazy like a half an hour. Um, I also don't want it to be only two minutes, um, but you can do um, a presentation. You can do it through PowerPoint or like a Word doc or Google Slides. I can I can help you with that if you want to know what the format. And if you're going to be terrified of meeting with me, you could also record a video of you doing the presentation and you can send it to me that way. Um, there's 10 marks for the scientific content, five marks for the presentation, five marks for how organized and neat is it, it is. Uh, five marks for your research and visual content in it, and then five marks for just your overall workmanship. So that is pretty much it. Um, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of lessons and information about the scientific journal at the end of the course. Um, I actually just copied and pasted it from my Life Sciences 11 course, but it's all applicable to you guys. So whew, I've talked for a very long time. Um, I I hope that I can transfer some of my excitement for this course. Um, I hope to actually like go on field trips and you know be able to show you how they went and be able to show you some of the cool features where I live in the Okanagan. Maybe you live here too. Maybe you live up north in BC. Maybe you live on the island or the lower mainland close to the ocean. Um, BC is honestly a geological hotspot. It is so beautiful. To me, there's no province um in canada that can compare with bc it is just absolutely fantabulous and i just love it so welcome to geology 12 and i really look forward to teaching you have a great day and i will see you in the course